What we do with our household waste is turning into a really big problem. Space in landfill sites is running out and we need to find greener alternatives. But the great news is that a few small changes to how you throw your rubbish away could make an enormous difference to our environment. Do you know how much of your food and household waste can be recycled? It's an important question because the typical family throws away 480 kilograms of food waste every year. That's the same weight as an average horse. Think about that when you're making your dinner next time. Between 2011 and 2013, more than 20,000 tonnes of waste from Hartsmere was thrown away into your black bins. That's the equivalent of two Eiffel Towers or 10 London Eyes, all being put into our landfill sites. At the moment, Hartsmere Borough Council recycles over 45% of your household waste, but we know we can do even better. We need to recycle more efficiently, and we want to make your borough a cleaner and greener place to live. But to do all of this, we need your help. Cardboard waste goes into your brown bin, along with glass, cartons, plastic and cans. It's really important to get the right waste in the right bin. If there's too much of the wrong waste in a load, it may have to be sent to landfill, which is both costly and a waste of time. So remember, glass, cartons, plastic, cans and cardboard in your brown bin, and only food and garden waste in your green bin. We've given a green bin to every household in Hartsmere, and it's where you need to put your food and garden waste. This includes all raw and cooked food waste like fruit, vegetables, fish and meat, tea bags and coffee grounds, as well as garden waste like grass cuttings, twigs or branches. As long as it's food waste or garden waste, we'll take it. For the complete list of what can go in your green bin, log on to heartsmere.gov.uk or give us a call. All the food and garden waste from your green bin is taken from outside your house to Agrivert's composting facility in South Mims, where after a few weeks of treatment and processing, it's turned into compost. This waste is mostly distributed to farmers around our borough. So let's take a ride with the recycling team to see the composting process at Agrivert in South Mims in action. All the waste you've put in your green bin arrives here at Agrivert's recycling facility and then gets shredded and blended. This increases the surface area of the waste which speeds up the composting process. Because of the food waste, the composting process has to comply with government and industry regulations. So Agrivert stores the blended food and green waste in long tunnels until it's reached a temperature of 60 degrees centigrade for two days. The waste is then moved to a second set of tunnels for stage two. This time there are fewer tunnels, because by this point a lot of volume has been lost during the stage one process. The waste needs to reach 60 degrees centigrade for another two days by which time it's starting to look like compost and there'll be a lot of steam, but it's not finished yet. Next, it's moved outdoors to the stabilization pad where it's formed into piles known as windrows where it's left to mature. The compost is then put through a screener which is like a gigantic sieve which removes all the large lumps. Anything smaller than 35 mil falls through the sieve and this then becomes the final compost. It's then taken away to be spread on local agricultural farmland. So remember, a small change to how you throw away your rubbish means a big change for the local environment. And that's great news for everyone in Hartsmith.